So I wanna show you a couple features in this walk-in shower that I particularly made for an older couple that was having a hard time getting over an existing tub. And I wanna show you some features that I think are really important to implement into your own walk-in shower, especially when you're getting into their gutting and replacing it. A lot of these things are really actually pretty simple. So let's go over them. So number one, I have grab bars in here. So you wanna make sure that you put blocking everywhere around the area because you just don't know what the opinions of um, the person that needs it or maybe the physical therapist, they might have suggestions on where to put things after you do the shower. So if you have blocking in here, it's gonna make it easy and you can just place it wherever you want. Number two, I went with a very shallow base this is only about three inches off the floor. This is called the Slimline Shower Base. I went with acrylic because it has a nice base to it that is, uh, has a, like a texture to it. It's easy to clean, but uh, it's gonna be safe for the client to walk on and be able to have plenty of grip on the floor. Uh, the second thing, or the third thing I should say, is the shower faucet. I really think that having something that is very simple for everybody to use makes a lot of sense. There's all these different valves that can kind of get a little bit crazy and difficult and confusing. This really makes it simple. You basically just turn your valve. This is your mixing valve. And so it'll stop at 100 degrees. And then when you press this button, you can get it hotter. But the real cool thing is, is that you can leave this at the temperature you want and never touch it again. Just press the buttons to which one you want to turn on. They both turn on at the same time as well. So that little feature right there really makes a difference. All they have to do is come in here, push a button, everything's gonna warm up to where they want it. And then having a handheld obviously is really important if they're gonna be sitting in a bench and needing to wash sitting down. Um, the other thing was, is just a simple shelf. If you keep your tile work simple, it's not gonna be very difficult for you to do. This is just uh, basically 10 by 22s. And basically, there, as you can see, there's no borders, there's no nothing. It's just a very simple pattern. I went with a, a grout that is gonna be, um, doesn't need to be sealed, doesn't need any maintenance. So if you go with a good grout, uh, this should be a long lasting shower. The other thing was, is that a lot of times, shower doors can really enclose a space and make it difficult for the person sitting in the shower to do anything. So. We actually just went with a standard shower curtain. One thing I would recommend, especially with the shower bases, is to get these weights. So these weights will hold the shower curtain down. You just have to place the bar of your shower rail so that the, you know, the shower curtain goes inside the shower. But those weights, along with a uh, shower splash guide, really makes, really helps out. So this kind of curls the shower curtain in. So then you, it makes it a nice, watertight seal so but using a shower curtain gives the pe person more freedom within the shower it's easier for somebody to help somebody out in the shower as well so be a good grandkid help out your grandparents or your elderly mom get them a new walk-in shower sign up for my course i'll show you step by step how to take a tub out and install a walk-in shower